Good morning, I'm Suzanne Marquez. We want to update you on the stories we're working on today. Here is the rundown. A 21 year old woman from Torrance was killed in a shark attack in the Bahamas yesterday. Jordan Lindsay was snorkeling with her family when three sharks attacked her. She was a communications studies major at Loyola Marymount University. Salt Lake City police are searching a home linked to missing El Segundo student Mackenzie Lewick. Police are focused on the garage where they've taken several items as evidence, including a pitchfork and 27 boxes of ammunition. Lewick was last seen 10 days ago after she flew to Utah from LA and was dropped off at a park by her Lyft driver. A big mess in Westwood this morning. A broken water main flooded the streets at Wilshire and Beverly Glen. We're told it flowed down about five blocks to Ashton Avenue and Warner Avenue. The water has since been shut off and repairs are underway. Now here's Jennifer Kim with a look at your weather. Hi there, Suzanne. So we're seeing more gray skies once again, more uh, June gloom, and that will stay with us again all morning long before things start to mix out by this afternoon. We are seeing 50s and 60s to start your day, uh, 65 degrees for downtown LA, 59 degrees in Van Nuys and Burbank. Seeing some patchy dense fog over in San Bernardino as well as Riverside and Ontario this morning. Uh, for your extended seven day forecasting, lots of 70s along the coast. It'll be slow to clear out to today once again. For the basin, lots of 70s there, 80s for the valleys. We are seeing a slow warming trend as we're heading into the weekend. By this weekend, things should be nice and toasty there, 90s for the Inland Empire as well as the high deserts. We may even see some windier conditions by this afternoon over in the deserts and the mountains, but otherwise, it's going to be a really nice day today. Suzanne, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Jen. I'm Suzanne Marquez. Remember to join us on CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. and watch CBS and Los Angeles streaming 24-7 on CBSLA.com or on the free CBS News app. We're also on Xbox One, Roku, PlayStation, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. Have a great rest of your day.